In this video, we'll learn how to use the Cardano blockchain, including getting set up with a wallet, receiving ADA into that, and then using these applications right here to buy tokens, trade them, and also stake and lend tokens as well. I'll leave timestamps for everything down in the description below. Firstly, we have to get set up with a Cardano wallet so that we can receive some ADA on the blockchain and start using it. NAMI has been very popular, although this has recently been bought out by IOG and they're wrapping it into the new Lace wallet. It doesn't matter which wallet that you use. Once you get a wallet set up, we get a seed phrase and we can use that seed phrase to reload our wallet in any of these wallet applications. Wallet applications are just like browsers. It doesn't matter which one that you use. So we can use Lace or many of the other good ones. I'll leave links to the popular wallet apps down below, including mobile wallets if you're more comfortable using that. From here though, we can come to lace.io and I'm gonna click add to browser. From here, we just need to install the extension to our browser. So I'm gonna click add to Chrome and add extension. So from here, the extension is added. Then we can actually set up a new wallet with Lace. From here, we can use Lace to set up a Cardano wallet. So the extension should be in the top right hand corner of your browser. So you can click that to get the extension up and it should bring you through to this page. So from here, if you're brand new, click create new wallet. That's gonna give you a brand new seed phrase and address. If you have a hardware wallet set up, like a ledger or something, and you wanna use the ledger, which is a completely separate wallet, you can use Lace to interact with applications and connect your wallet here. Never reload your hardware wallet seed phrase into a hot wallet. You connect them, which is different. Now, if you have a wallet already, like a hot wallet that you set up on a different uh, wallet application, you can restore that here. So I'm gonna click restore because I already have one set up. Uh, so we're just gonna press okay, and then we're gonna agree to the terms and conditions right here. And then what it's gonna do is ask me to put in my seed phrase. So I'm just gonna name the wallet, doesn't matter what you call it, and then put in the password. This is a spending password. And so each time that you interact with the dApp, you have to put this in to spend coins. And if you lock the app, you'll need to put this in to open it as well. This doesn't matter if you delete Lace, and then reload it and reload your seed phrase and your recovery phrase in, you can change this. It's the seed phrase that's important. So I'll just put a spending password in. I'll click next here as well. And that brings me through to the recovery phrase. I think I have a 24 word phrase. So I'm gonna click next. And then it uh, asked me to put this in. Now, if you're setting up a brand new wallet, it's gonna give you 24 words, write them down, keep them somewhere extremely safe. If you lose access to your recovery phrase and also the wallet, then all your money's gone, you're never getting it back. If someone else has these 24 words, they can reload the wallet on their device and have access to all of your money. So it's really important to keep this somewhere safe um, and you know written down on something that isn't gonna get kind of lost or damaged. Once you've got the wallet set up, it will take you through to the main page, which is basically a browser for all of the tokens that you have in your wallet. So up here on the left, you can see tokens, and these are NFTs, and this is all your activity, sends and receives and interactions with applications. Uh, and then you can actually stake your ADA as well. So from here, if you're brand new, you don't have anything in your wallet. So you need to get some Cardano ADA in. So the top right, we're gonna click receive, and this is our wallet address. So if you have a application on your phone, like an exchange, and you wanna withdraw ADA from there, you can just scan the QR code when withdrawing. I'm gonna copy the long form address, which is right here. So I'm just gonna copy that. And then I'm gonna go over uh, to my Binance account. I've bought some Cardano ADA here, uh, so we can withdraw that. If you don't know how to use exchanges like Binance, Bybit, OKX, um, then I will leave video guides down in the description on how to get set up with accounts, how to buy uh, crypto on there, and how to get money in and out of those platforms. I uh, also leave links below to them. You can get deposit and trading bonuses if you're new on those platforms, which is great. So you can check the links below for the details there. But I've copied my ADA address. I've bought some Cardano ADA, so I'm withdrawing crypto. I want ADA and I'm gonna paste in my address and it automatically knows that I'm sending over the Cardano network because this address is a Cardano address. So if you click the network here, you can see there might be other addresses that you can use. These are unmatched because my address is a Cardano blockchain address. So we need to send the coin that we want, which in this case is ADA. We need that because we need to pay ADA for gas when we interact with apps and send coins. Um, so we need ADA and we need it on the Cardano blockchain, which we're using. So press that. So we have the coin and the address and the network. So 
Uh, if you've bought coins, you can just uh, transfer out any amount that you want to this address. Now that we have some ADA in our wallet, we can go ahead and stake it on the blockchain. You can do it right within Lace Wallet. So staking down here, and then you can come to the overview and browse pools. So you wanna find a staking pool to stake with. They're all gonna be fine. You just want to find one that's you know fairly popular and is reliable. So I'm just gonna type in Cadanians here because I know they run uh, stake pools fairly um, you know, reliably. So we'll choose one that isn't totally saturated. As a staking pool gets saturated, uh, the Cardano network will slowly reduce the amount of uh, staking rewards that it gets. So you want to be in a you know a popular pool, but definitely not one that's 100%. Um, so we can choose maybe this one because it's at 73% uh, right here, uh, 51 million active stake. So on Lace, you can actually split your stake up between multiple pools if you want to do that. Um, you can see the multi-staking down here just where my head is. I'm going to click this one here, which is stake all in this pool. So I'll click that. I want 100% of my stake. You can see it's a simple delegation. There's a balance right here. And we're with, we're with this pool. So down here, you can see confirm new portfolio. So I'll just click that. And we're going from Cardano and we are staking with this pool. It's going to cost me two ADA here as a deposit and then a transaction fee of, you know, nine cents as of right now. So I'll click next put in my password, and then I can confirm the transaction right here. Hooray, you've staked your funds, so we'll click close. So we're now staking our ADA with a stake pool, and for right now, staking on ADA gets around 3% or so in staking rewards. So when we're staking, we can still use our ADA in applications. We can trade out of it and everything like that, so it's no problem, so you might as well do it. So as we can see, we are now staking with Cardanians number three, and we can see the amount staked. And of course, if we just leave this over time, uh, with each epoch, we will get the rewards of that epoch. If you wanna send your coins to another wallet, so you know someone that you wanna to send to, or you wanna send your coins into an exchange to sell them or trade them, then just go and get the deposit address, which will be a Cardano ADA address. And then from here, we know that we have some tokens in our wallet. So we'll press send. And then it says, what is the recipient's address or their handle? I'll go over handles in a second, but I've got my uh, wallet address right here that I wanna send to. And then on ADA, I can choose an amount. So let's choose, you know, 150 ADA, which is this amount of dollars right now. Now, what we can see is we can put a message in, but we don't need to. The transaction costs, as you can see right here, just above my head is 0.17 ADA, which as of right now is eight cents. You can review this transaction. So we're sending this amount of ADA to this wallet, and this is the transaction fee. If you wanna go ahead and send out of your wallet, just press confirm down here, you can see this, and uh, that will be sent out of your wallet. You have to put your spending password in again. So what is an ADA handle? Well, it's a human readable address that you can own in your wallet as an NFT. And this just gives people something to send to instead of your wallet address. So your wallet address is fine and it works, but if your wallet holds a handle NFT, then someone can search for your address with the human readable name. And when they're sending out of their Lace wallet, they can just enter your handle instead of the long address. So it's a you know, fairly good concept, so we'll look at that. We'll go to JPEG store here because you can buy handles on this site and we'll type in handle and then you can see the collections here, ADA handle, so we'll click this. And then there just are a bunch of uh, handles we can buy. Uh, so <laughs> this one's crazy, so we're not gonna buy that one, uh, but we can buy one of these. So you know, let's just buy something cheap um, and we can connect our wallet. So connect wallet here. You know we have a uh, Lace wallet, so we're gonna click Lace. And it should say, do you want to allow this uh, you know, application to connect to your wallet? That's fine, so we can click Authorize. And do you want to always connect or do you, do you just want to whitelist it this one time? If you whitelist the application, then you don't have to go through this next time. Uh, so I'll just click Once Only. And we should be connected, so we'll click Confirm. So this is a deposit that you have to make. So when you uh, potentially interact with smart contracts on ADA, uh, that is something where you might have to make a deposit. It's gonna be around five ADA. So you have to put that on as a deposit onto the application 
even if you don't use any smart contracts right now. This is something specific to Ada right now. So down in the bottom right, you might be able to see that uh, essentially I'm going to have to pay this much right now in order to make a deposit onto this app, uh, platform in case I use smart contracts in it in the future. You can take the deposit out as well, but you have to pay another fee. Luckily, fees are basically irrelevant, but what I'm going to do is put my spending password in here and then confirm that to make the deposit onto the app. So you can see that was signed successfully, so I'm just going to close that now. And up in the top right, my uh, wallet is now connected. So it you know sees my wallet and the details of that. And then you can you know switch wallets right here if you want to switch to another wallet. So we could buy this. So we can see the trade history here. Uh, it's pretty cheap, right? You can see the policy ID. In any case, we'll just click buy with ADA. And then we can go through with this transaction. So what we're doing is this is an NFT and it's listed on the marketplace and we can just buy it. So we're sending this transaction out and you can see the recipient is getting this much ADA. So these are probably some fees and some other things we have to pay out maybe to the um, exchange. But right here is what we're paying to the person that owns this and that's selling this. And right above my head, you can see it's 0.42 ADA as a transaction fee. So again, pretty small. If you wanna buy this, just click confirm right here. The money will get sent out in a transaction and then the NFT will come into your wallet and that will be your handle. And you can have multiple of these in your handle. So anyone that uses the handle, it's just going to redirect to your wallet address. ADA handles are public assets on a public blockchain. And so anyone can search for your name and see all of the transactions in the wallet of that name. So it's up to you whether you want to get something that reveals your identity or not, or just not buy it at all and just have the, you know, the long form address. We're going to use MinSwap now, which is a decentralized exchange to swap some ADA into other tokens. Um, so we can launch the app right here. I'll leave MinSwap linked below just so you know you're going to the right place. And from here, we need to connect our wallet. Um, so that's fine. I can click authorize and only once. That's in the top right. So if it doesn't automatically do it, then that's it up there. Now from here, we can swap tokens. So the most popular assets on Cardano right now are ADA against MIN, which is the MinSwap token and ADA IUSD. IUSD is a synthetic dollar stablecoin. It's backed by uh, crypto collateral. It's called a collateralized debt position. It's pretty risky. I wouldn't recommend beginners use this type of thing, but I just want to show you some assets and how they trade as an example. So if this is the uh, highest volume pair, uh, looks like ADA SNEC is, ADA World Mobile Token have pretty good volume, you can see here. So we'll trade some ADA for MIN. So down here, we can see uh, the details of this and the exchange rate. And we're paying, you know, hefty trading fee. So we're going to click swap. And then we want to swap some, you know, assets um, from ADA into uh, MIN, right? So how much do we want to swap? Let's say 50 ADA. And that brings us into uh, 825 MIN at the current exchange rate. So down here, we can see that the uh, trade details are showing that I have a very small price impact on the liquidity pool, which is good. You don't want a large uh, price impact because then you're going to get a you know, much worse trade than what you would expect. Slippage tolerance here is half a percent. I'm just going to change that um, to maybe 0.1 percent. Now, if you're trading smaller pairs with less liquidity, you, you're going to have to get your slippage tolerance a bit higher because this is the difference between the price quote that you're given here and the price at which you actually trade at. So if you have a slippage tolerance of 0.5, that means you might get a 0.5% worse trade. 1%, you might get a 1% worse trade. But if the trade is 2%, then you won't trade. You'll actually just say, no, I'm going to cancel out the trade. So you can make that what you want. From here, we can see there is a batcher fee of 2 ADA and a deposit fee of two ADA, that will be returned when your orders are processed or canceled. So you can go ahead and swap this. So let's just do that as an example. We'll press swap. You can see the details here, confirm swap. Then it goes through to lace and you just have to see the details. I'm just gonna press confirm and then put the wallet uh, password in. Press confirm there and that's all done. So that will go through uh, as and when it can do. So we've traded there and we can trade uh, anything else exactly like that. Uh, so the transaction transaction was successful, so I can click close. Then if you want to go over to overview, 
you, know, you can just search for any token and you can uh, you know search for the trading pair that you want. So as of right now, uh, there are no dollar backed native stable coins on Cardano, but in the future that may change. You may see assets like this, USDC, uh, USDT as well. These are wrapped coins. And um, what that means is that a company buys the USDC on Ethereum and puts it in their wallet and then issues an IOU on Cardano. And that's called a wrapped token basically, or a bridged token. Now, I don't recommend using bridged tokens. Um, I just think you need to have the native token, which means the company that issues USDC, which is Circle, they issue the asset on Cardano and you know that's that. So I wouldn't recommend using bridge tokens for any large amounts. You can definitely experiment with them, it's fine. Um, but as of right now, you know, there aren't any native stable coins, dollar back stable coins. And so I would wait for those before putting larger amounts in this type of thing. MinSwap is by far the most popular DEX, but there are DEX aggregators on Cardano as well, which just means they scan all of the DEXs and try and get you the best price amongst them. So this is DEX Hunter. So I'll connect my wallet and uh, read the privacy policy. We've got Lace here, so we'll connect that uh, and then go and authorize. And then from here, you can go and use this to swap. So what this uh, aggregator is doing is basically showing you all of the trades on all of the DEXs on Cardano. So you can see the DEX right here. This is MinSwap. This is Wing Riders. You have Sunday Swap here, right? And so it doesn't really matter which exchange you use as long as you're getting the best price for your trade. And you can see the trending tokens. So these are trending tokens by trading volume. So what we can do is go to swap and then you can swap one into the other, right? So let's do another swap. Let's do 50 ADA. And we're gonna be swapping that into uh, Dex Hunter's token right here. But if you click down here, if you wanna find a token that's listed, you can go ahead and do that. You can see that min swap is now in my wallet as well. Um, so the you know, application has read the wallet and it sees that I've got this token. So what we'll do is press swap and we can see the details and the uh, slippage and everything, but we're fine with that. So we'll go through that transaction again. We'll click confirm on that so we can use a DEX aggregator. Now for this time, I have no idea what exchange that I'm using, um, but that doesn't matter. It's just you know, hopefully gonna give me the best trade uh, that it finds across uh, different uh, exchanges. So that looks like you're in now. So you can see that just uh, repopulated with some uh, of these tokens. So you know, it seems like we've got that token in our wallet and um, we can have that. So if we go back to our Lace wallet, what we should be able to see is three tokens in our wallet right now. So we have the Cardano and a couple of swaps there into MinSwap and Hunt. So you can see all of those. And if you have NFTs, you can see that here. If you go to activity, you should be able to see everything that you've done. We can also use lending protocols on Cardano to lend our tokens to other people that borrow them and then pay us an interest. This is much like Aave. If you've seen that on Ethereum, it's a lending market. And so if we have tokens, we can lend them out. Um, for the most part, this type of thing in crypto is known as over collateralized lending, which means if someone wants to borrow $1,000 from you, they need collateral worth $1,200 or $1,300 on the system. And that makes sense because if they're borrowing crypto from you, maybe their crypto goes down in value and they can't pay back the loan. Well, the way that that works with these type of things is that they're over collateralized, which means the protocol is gonna sell out their collateral to pay you back. Now there are still risks, smart contract risks, platform risks and everything. Uh, so, you know, just be aware of that. But I'll show you exactly how it works. Connect wallet. And then from here, um, we are connected now. So I have no supplies in this wallet as yet, but down here we can supply assets and lend them out and earn those uh, yields from borrowers. So we do actually have some min uh, and we have some ADA uh, that we can lend out because these are supported assets. So I'll show you with ADA right here. So you can see that APY is 3.87%. So this is what you're getting from uh, the ADA staking reward and market utilization. So, you know, actually people, you know, paying you. And then there is a, what seems to be a um, incentive yield from the protocol as well. So they will have a token and they're paying you in that token as an incentive to use the protocol and lend out your, uh, your ADA right here. So of course that token, it has a value, but it can go up and down in value as well. 
We'll click supply. How much ADA do you want to supply right here? We'll put an amount in. And so you can see the supply APY 3.87%. And we're gonna supply ADA. And then we'll just have to confirm this in the wallet and put in our spending password again. What you can see here is that the protocol is going to swap our ADA and it's gonna give us something called QADA. This is basically a receipt token and it's the thing that is accruing the borrowing interest from the other guy, right? So we're getting that yield and so we get this receipt token because of course we're supplying our ADA to them and so in return we get this QADA which is our receipt of how much we've lent. So we're gonna confirm that and then put in the spending password. What we should also get after this is that QADA in our wallet. And so that's a token that we have and it will be accruing interest over time. And of course, once we want to actually, uh, you know, take our ADA back and call back the loan from the market, then we can swap that QADA in and then get ADA back out. I actually now own in my wallet QADA and this is a separate token that represents a lending deposit. And so because my wallet is connected to Liquid, I have supplies. So this is my QADA, and you can see I'm supplying this much, and this is the APY. Up here you can see you know, uh, a kind of dashboard of how much you're supplying, how much you're borrowing against that, right? And my net APY, of course, if you're borrowing and paying more interest, your net APY may be negative. You may be earning some interest from your lens and paying some interest from your borrows and your net APY may be negative or positive with all those Q tokens. In any case, you can get pretty complex with it, but just to show you. So right here, I have QADA in my wallet. So if we go back to my wallet now, you should be able to see, yeah, that I have the QADA here and I've got an amount. So if I click on this, this is a token that I can send out of my wallet. So if I want to, you know, start a fresh wallet or something or, you know, pay someone some ADA and, and you just say, look, I'm lending this out. Do you want the QADA instead? Then you can just send it out of your wallet. So if you send that out to another wallet, you can do that. Now, this, uh, this asset won't be supported on crypto exchanges, on centralized exchanges, but you can send it out to other blockchain wallets, no problem. And then they'll get the QADA. And so when they log into Liquid next time, they are the owner of this QADA and they will be earning those yields. To get your ADA back, you have to withdraw it from the protocol. So I have the QADA here, press withdraw and the amount that you want to draw out. And you can see we have to withdraw that. So we'll go through that with that transaction. That will swap the QADA back for ADA and that will come back into our wallet. I'll leave the other helpful video guides down in the description and the exchange bonuses down there if you want them as well. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.